Today I want to pause to pray for social issues in regards to those who are homeless, poor, and in great need. The Bible has much to say on this subject and is filled with spiritual counsel throughout the scripture in how we should respond and coexist with those in need. In fact, many of the biblical texts can be quite eye-opening to those who may not have ever considered how important this issue is to God. A particular text comes to mind that provides great wisdom and instruction on this subject. It's found in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 7. It says, Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are, your, who are cast out? When you see the naked, that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh. Wow, such texts remind us that God wants us to be considerate and thoughtful to those who struggle, perhaps in poverty, and could use a kind heart to extend some help, especially when God has blessed us with so much. Let's pray that God gives us a compassionate heart when it comes to dealing with those in need. Those are His children. When we see that uh, person begging on the street, those are his children. In the lands beyond the sea, countless million children be who have never heard the gospel story told. Little ones for whom the Christ died and bought them with a price waiting to be gathered in the Savior's fold. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every child in every land, Jesus holds them in his hand, for he loves the little children of the world. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for those who are struggling today. I especially think of the homeless, runaways, and addicts. I also think of those who have recently lost their job or are not allowed to work right now because of their job is not considered essential during this time of war on COVID-19. Please give them peace comfort, and provide for their daily needs as only you can. May they feel your presence and learn of you and your great love for them. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for your many, many blessings. But Lord, we realize that there are many among us that are struggling, many among us that are facing issues whether it be abuse or homelessness or going without, not having enough to eat, financial issues. Lord, you know their issues and their problems, Father. But Lord, we ask that you will help our eyes to be open to the situations around us. Maybe we don't live in a community that has homelessness, but Lord, we realize that there are people that are struggling and in need. Help our eyes to be open. Help us to see things as you see them, Father that our hearts would be opened, that we would be willing to be used by you to reach out to those around us or to help others who are seeking to reach out, Lord, in different areas. There's always something that we can do, and we thank you for working in our lives and helping us to have our eyes open, and we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Everywhere we hear their cry, Come and save us, or we die. Who will haste to these the blessed news to tell? They are precious to the King. Let us go these lambs to bring to the gracious arms of Him we love so well. For Jesus cares for all the children, all the children are his care. Every child in every land, Jesus holds them in his hand, for he loves 
the little children of the world. Our loving, kind, and heavenly Father, I thank you that you are a God that cares for your children. I echo the words in Psalm 82, verse 3 and 4, that you would defend the poor and fatherless, that you would do justice to the afflicted and needy, that you would deliver the poor and needy, and rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Lord, please deliver your children from the stresses and strains of this world and give them the hope and the courage that they need to keep fighting, that you would continue shaping their characters and fit them for heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we bow our heads right now as we think of the social issues that many are confronted with in our world, the homelessness that abounds from country to country, from city to city. Lord, we thank you that you've left us an example in your word, that there were those who were hungry, those who were thirsty, those who were strangers, those who had no basic necessities, those who were sick and imprisoned, and those who were the outcasts of society. Father, today we lift them up before you. Give us wisdom, Lord, to make a difference in our circles of influence, but we thank you, Lord, that these precious souls will receive their needs supplied from the gracious hand of our Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, that each one of these precious souls are important as your children and your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dear Lord, I come to you today in prayer, asking you to touch the hearts of every person on the street that is homeless. I pray that you show us how we can show your love and your light. For God has said, I will never fail you or abandon you. Teach me, Lord, how to do your will daily so I can show your love. Teach me, Lord, please. In your name I pray, your humble servant. Amen. Isaiah 1.17 says, Learn to do good, seek justice, reprove the ruthless, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. Proverbs 31.9 says, Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the afflicted and needy. Matthew 22.39, one we should know so well, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. James 1.27, Pure and undefiled religion in the sight of our God and Father is this to visit orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. And a scripture I love so well, a section of scriptures, and this is one in Matthew 25, verse 40. The king will answer and say to them, Truly I say to you, to the extent that you did it to one of these brothers of mine, even the least of them, you did it to me. Father, I just, I know that you said that um, the poor will, we will always have with us. Father, I just ask that you would stir our hearts, fill us with compassion. Lord, when we wonder what they would do with the money, say, that we would give them on the street, Lord, may we just leave that up to you. We want to be good stewards and we want to be cautious, but Lord, I pray that you would fill us with such compassion and love that it, it overlooks our prejudices and that it looks through your eyes of love. Father, we have viewers who have needs that are beyond the social issues. 
One is praying for a um, specific job and for a, a family. She's single and she would love a husband and would like specifically three children. Lord, we know that your word says we have not because we ask not and only you know what you have planned for her. So I'm asking God in Jesus' name that you would give her the desires of her heart, that you would protect her from any harm. And Father, for those who are watching who are just like her, who are wanting a specific job, who are wanting a family, wanting a husband or a wife, Lord, your will be done. Open that door according to your will for their lives. We thank you that you love so much your children that you're interested in all the little details, which are not little details. <laughs> They're big, but you are a big God. I pray for this man who is in a work situation where his coworkers are um, giving him grief. One particular suffers with outbursts of anger. Lord, we know that the work relationship can, the, it can be a, a kind of a volatile atmosphere sometimes. I ask God that you will help this gentleman to be a, a, a light in his workforce, that he would, uh, in his office, that he would be the calm and the peace and the direction. Thank you, Father, for all that you do, all that you are, the, way that, the ways that you love us, the ways that you care about us. Father God, you are so precious, so wonderful. And we thank you for your provision. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for deliverance, Father, for those who are watching who, who need safety, who need healing, who need mending their relationships physical needs and mental needs and emotional needs, financial and spiritual needs, God. We all have them. We thank you for meeting every need. We love you, Lord. Micah 6, 8 says, He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. We only have to step our foot out the front door to encounter someone in need of a Savior. And actually, we only need to look in the mirror. So I encourage you to be the person that God has called you to be. Thank you for taking time to pause to pray. Please send us your prayer request or become a part of our prayer warrior team. For more information, please visit 3abn.tv forward slash prayer or call for prayer at 618-627-4651, extension 1. And thank you for being a part of the Worldwide 3ABN family.